Jimmy Lou just went past camp. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm off camping, solo camping, in my new teardrop pod or hybrid camper. Call it what you like. I'm calling it a teardrop camper because it sounds cool. Uh, used it once at a caravan park, plugged it all in, made sure everything worked. Everything worked when I was there, so we're going completely off grid today, this weekend. So I've installed myself a solar panel on the roof. We'll see how that goes. Now I'm gonna pop into the local Woolies in Echuca to grab some last minute supplies, as I always do. I always forget something, and I'm lucky. Echuca's Woolies is there, and it's got everything I need. So let's head on into Echuca, go to Woolies, grab my last bit of supplies, head out to the campsite. So let's get into it, eh? Okay, made it to camp. Time to set up camp, chill out, crack a beer, and enjoy the view. Just looking at the time, and I'd realised it's bourbon o'clock. One of these, a standard squeeze, you know? What's standard drink for you? Might not necessarily be a standard drink for me. So I'm out camping. It's one for the money. One for the day. Can of Pepsi Max, you can't go wrong. It's about 32 degrees, there's no wind, the humidity is like at a bazillion percent. So cheers, I'm going to do my dinner in about half an hour or so. Alright. Mmm. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I just went down to check the Yabby Trap. It's sitting in the Murray River, you know, trying to catch some pre-dinner nibblies and I reckon I caught the most unluckiest yabby out here. He was all on his own and he's the only one in the trap, poor little bugger. So don't think I'll be having yabbies for pre-dinner nibblies. We'll let the, the trap soak for a few more hours. I'll check it out, but I want to have my surf and turf. I don't think you really can call it surf and turf when it's yabbies from the Murray. Maybe it's a Murray and turf. I don't know, we'll see how we go. All right, I'm gonna get stuck into dinner soon. All right. My first meal I've cooked outside, in the bush, off grid, in the she oak. Now, I'm doing something pretty simple tonight. I got myself a little potato bun, um, a chicken schnitzel -y thingy there. I'm just gonna do it in the back of the kitchen here, probably put some cheese, a bit of salad. So let's get started and uh, do some cooking. I don't know if this excites you or not, but it excites me because I'm really hungry right now. So let's get cooking, eh? Oh, it's on, good start to the day. A bit of canola oil, Australian canola oil. Get that bit of a squirt in a pan, that'll do it. At least there's one good thing, there's no bloody flies at the moment, it's been really good. But the mozzies, ah, oh, they're a killer. Is it hot enough yet? Sounds like it is. No, not really. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, let's get cooking. I, think I might do, I might go keep that cheese. I've actually been using the cheese to catch fish with. I'm not having much luck catching any fish. Yabbies are doing alright though, still only got the one. I might just grab some cheese because I can and you know do my salad as well. Give it a rinse. The lady wife apparently she says I've got to do I've got to eat salad when I'm out. I don't know why, but she insisted I have to have salad, so I don't know, maybe she's thinking of my waistline because uh, nobody else is. Oh I'm gonna go get that cheese. Get that cheese on Just pop that there. Watch that for me, will you? When I popped in a Woolies, I grabbed myself some uh, Bigo, strong and bitey. I tell you what, it's not very bitey. The fish don't really like it here. Oh, bugger. I've got the knife. There we go. One good thing about this campsite, there's nobody here. Then again, it is Friday. They'll probably all turn up tomorrow. You know that, don't you? They'll be going, oh, they're everywhere now. Some slivers of cheese. 
What I'm going to do with that Yabby pot too, I'm just going to let it soak uh, for a few more hours and I'll go check it again in a couple of hours. See how she's gone because I've got my steak tomorrow night for dinner and I really want to do my surf and turf. Well, as I said before, I don't think it's really surf and turf when you catch yabbies, but we'll call it surf and turf because it sounds cool. I'll pop that back in the... Yeah, it's branded up all right. Jeez, I'll tell you one thing. It's really quiet here. Had uh, car went through before. Didn't really stay long. He just sort of came in and looked around and left. That is what it is, I suppose. I'd love to tell you that I cook at home, but to be quite honest, I don't. I'm a lousy cook, that's why we do simple things when I go camping, like my little roll I got here. That's looking good. Yeah, I'll go get the salad. Yeah, it's clean. Toast me buns up, I reckon. Give it a quick little toasty up. Give those buns a bit of a squirt. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. You'll let me know if I am. And they're potato buns. I don't, um, me and white bread don't really get along that well. Don't know why, I love white bread. It just doesn't like me. Have a little sippy. Now where's my plate? Shit, that's hot. I think mean, bugger, that's hot. I reckon that burger is fantastic. Look at that. Got green stuff, got cheese, potato bun, and it's beautiful and quiet. I'm the only one making noise here. All right, I'm going to sit down and have my dinner and enjoy the view of the river. Day two on the Murray. Gonna get myself some breakfast. You're kicking into the day of um, doing the whole lot of nothing. Let's get this day started, eh? Okay, I've had my first major disaster at camp. My mocha pot, which I've had for about nine years or so, has developed a little pinhole there. So I can't make my coffee in that. So things are getting pretty desperate here at camp because I need a coffee. So what I did. Solved my little problem, got my little pot, built it full of water, boiled it, put a couple of teaspoons of ground up coffee in it, and made some coffee, it sort of looks like coffee, smells like coffee. Let's give it a shot, see how it works. You know what? That's not bad. Disaster averted. Keep going, I suppose. I wonder what time the ski boats will get kicking along here. Do a spot of fish in the day, I reckon. 
still got my one yabby, pot's back in the water again. Looking forward to my surf and turf tonight, if you have any luck. Yeah, pretty good. A bit cooler today. So uh, what, about 22 degrees at the moment. Um, no humidity, light breeze. They're predicting 29, I think, up here today. So yeah, it'll be a good day to be sitting around just having some me time. It's 10 o'clock, that's the first boat of the day. <laughs> they must have all had a hard night on the sauce. myself an Ingle fridge. I know, it's for, it wasn't for free. I got it from a mate of mine, Gav, and it's a little ripper. It's a few years old, so it's not the most modern fridge in the world, but it's bloody running fantastic this weekend, keeping the beers cold and all the rest of it. It's a little bit bare, as you can see, so I'm going to decorate it with a few of stickers from my favourite YouTubers. I know. All right, some of these are met, some of them I haven't. Laps of maps. I met them out at Mount Dare last year. They're seasonal workers. There's the mechanics out there. Really nice people. Fantastic channel, by the way. Wilson's take on Oz. Great little channel also. Sent me one of their stickers. And then we've got here, Chris from All Terrain Action. Great channel and doesn't necessarily drive what you'd think would be a four wheel drive. Go over, have a look and check out his content. It's completely different. It's four wheel driving with a different type of car. Go over, have a look, check him out. Craig from Outdoor Touring sent me his sticker the other day. Thank you, Craig. Got that. That's going in the fridge. Good channel again. Oh, he's got merch, by the way. Steve from Mud Ducks Touring. Now, I met Steve out at Dargo oh, earlier this year, and he gave me a few stickers, so I've kept them. So that's going on the fridge. We've got Mr. Terry G. Uh, handcrafted by Terry G. I know him as Terry G. Sorry. Um, he's got a great channel. It makes awesome chopping boards so if you want to chopping boards that are engraved with your name and all this sort of thing jump on uh, his youtube channel give him a message and they're a great chopping board handcrafted by terry g and i scored one here from phil's camping reviews good channel talks a lot but it's great content he, he seems to enjoy himself so that's phil's sticker that's going on the fridge steve and annie from saw adventures up in queensland great channel i got a lot of time for Steve and Annie. They're good people. I haven't met them, but I've spoken to him on the phone a couple of times. Great channel. Um, he's selling his merch now, so you can get stickers and, and shirts and things like that off of Steve. So jump on Steve's channel and Annie's and have a look at that one. Last but not least. Now, um, I'm going to a charity event next year in Queensland, and it's organised from a few people that you just saw then on the stickers. It's Phil, Terry, and Steve and Annie. They're organising this event and another fellow as well, but he hasn't sent me a sticker yet. He hasn't got his merch and you know who you are. And we're going to this charity event here. So all the proceeds that I'm making out of YouTube for the next six months is going to this charity event. Now, I don't make a lot of money out of YouTube. I'm not doing it for the money, but we're supporting them. Now, jump on the website there, Legends for Charity. Uh, we have lots of merch available there. So you've got shirts, stickers, uh, patches I think are coming soon, stubby holders or stubby coolers, whatever you want to call them. And that's going on the fridge too. So I'm a supporter of that. And as I said a moment ago, all my money that I make on YouTube is going straight to the charity. It's charity and it's for Care Flight up in Queensland and a animal sanctuary up there. I can't remember the name offhand, but uh, jump on board. So let's decorate the fridge. There you go. Done. A newly decorated fridge. How's it look? If you're watching it and you've got a sticker and you want to send me one, you've got a YouTube channel, I've still got a space here and I've got a whole spot right on the other side of the fridge that's naked. So I reckon the value of the fridge has just gone up. <laughs>
Okay, I just finished my chicken wings at lunch. Thought I'd go for a bit of a wander around camp. I've had a lot of birds hanging around camp, you know, tweeting and all, because I'm just on my own, so there's no doof doof music or anything like that. So I saw these two birds on the river, so I, I wander down, I get the shot, you know, I get the beautiful nature shot. So I've got the birds wandering across, get the boat coming past, thinking, oh, this is going to be great. Next minute, a guy comes past, plop, falls off his wakeboard. Yes! The things you do at camp, eh? Sitting on the Murray River. Just enjoying life, watching life go by and people fall off their wakeboards. As I said, bourbon o'clock. Still got my bottle of Jack. Remember, one for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready. No, only kidding. Only kidding. Pepsi Max, because it neutralizes the sugar in uh, Jack Daniels. You know that, don't you? You know, you can quote me on that if you like. Cheers. Mm. Life's good. I've been waiting and hoping and praying for this all day and Emmy Lou just went past camp. Oh, the whistle went just then. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna have my dinner. Might just put a bit of chili on my steak. That's my dinner done. Steak. And it's a ripper steak, by the way. I've got my steak. I've got some corn, got some lettuce, and I've got my one and only poor little yabby on his own. That's not quite the way I had it planned, but hey, these things happen. Apple pop. Don't forget, guys, hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video, and it's bye for now. I just finished my lunch and I thought, oh, there's some birds hanging around camp, you know, I'll get some shots of the birds wandering around and doing what they do, birds do what they do, because I'm quietly at camp, so I'm getting a lot of bird life running around. So the two birds down the river there. Ah, typical, isn't it? Every time you do a shot. Bloody hell.